Marketing Mechanics, how are we doing? It's me, Dane, the Digital Marketing Mechanic, and today we're going to be talking about this really easy to use tool to help you find products for your dropshipping store, or frankly, when it comes to searching for items, but for this video I'm going to be talking about dropshipping. Now the tool is called Keywords Everywhere, and I'm going to do a brief lecture, and then guess what, we're going to jump to my computer, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it, so let's dive in. So the tool's name, if I didn't mention, is called Keywords Everywhere. And what it is is pretty much a Google Chrome plugin. So yes, you have to use Google Chrome. And it allows you to see the search volume for certain products. Now, when it came to me starting my high ticket dropshipping store, what I will do is I'll just simply go to, say, Google, and I'll just simply type in whatever I'm searching for. Uh, for example, my high ticket dropshipping store, I was looking for kegerators. And I wanted to see the search volume, because think of it this way. If you're going to be selling a product, um, say through Google search or even just in general, you want to make sure that you are selling something that people are actively looking for. So say if I did um, bungee cords, but there's only like maybe a thousand searches for that per month. I mean, do I really want to have to fight with other competing businesses for that small sliver of business? I know when I did kegerators, I think it was about 40,000 to 50,000 searches per month. That's actually a pretty good substantial number. Uh, if you are trying to search for a high ticket dropshipping store or even just a low ticket one, um, I personally recommend anything over 30,000 searches per month will be good. Because think of it this way, uh, you're not going to be the only game in town who's going to try and woo in shoppers who are searching for a certain item. Now you can also use this tool when it comes to uh, creating YouTube videos. I'm not a YouTube guru, I'm just simply standing in my garage uh, talking to my camera all by myself because my cats are taking a nap. And if you just want to see how, like if you're curious to see like how many times people are searching for Ty Lopez or drop shipping, Facebook ads, that can kind of give you a good idea of the amount of search traffic that is getting. So let's go ahead and jump to my computer and I can show you how to install it and also how to use it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and walk through this. Now, to first off, um, let me show you something real quick. Say, for example, you're Google searching a PlayStation Classic. As you can tell, I can see how many uh, results that I'm getting, but I don't know like how many people are actually searching for it. This just shows me what is out there. So what we do in the Google Chrome store, you go ahead and you add uh, this little uh, guy, Keywords Everywhere tool, to Chrome. Now just to give you a heads up, Keywords Everywhere looks just like this in your little um, browser. But first thing we need to do is we actually need to set the whole thing up. So you'll go ahead and type in your email address. Make sure you click Agree. And you have them send you the API key. All right, so what you do is uh, in your inbox, um, you'll definitely know that the emails from them, as you can tell, they uh, give you a little name, Keywords Everywhere API key. What you do is you click on the extension open up settings then you go ahead and paste in the API key and click validate go so check this out right here they're giving you an idea of the volume of what people are searching for per month as you can tell PlayStation Store PlayStation 4 are up there in the millions of searches per month uh, when it comes to the cost per CPC I am gonna admit I don't know if that is 100% accurate since I am NOT a Google AdWords person but this gives you an idea on you know the number of things people are searching for so say if you're using this for uh, researching a drop shipping item either high ticket or low ticket uh, let's do an example right here uh, say we are looking for bar stools so if we can take a look up here this is about 45,000 searches per month for just bar stools and this is just bar stools in general it doesn't account for people who are looking for IKEA Walmart uh, backlist, tall, short, Wayfair. So keep that in mind. When it comes to trying to find a good product for high ticket drop shipping or low ticket drop shipping, you know, create a list. Um, notice how Barstools actually had a pretty good number. It was right here. 45,000. That's usually a pretty good idea to, to say like, okay, well there's enough traffic for me to siphon off a bit of. Because the thing is, you know, think of this. 
Walmart, Wayfair, Living Spaces. I'm not sure if everyone in America has Living Spaces, but I do. I have one down the way. It is a huge company. So the thing is, we're not trying to outbeat well, we're not trying to beat out these companies. What we're trying to do is siphon away, you know, a sliver of the 45,000 uh, searches per month. So if we can get maybe 1% uh, of that, that's 450. That's a lot. 10%, uh, that would be fantastic. You just want to make sure that there is enough searches per month to make it worth your while. So say if we want to do something else like, say if we did BMX bike, that's still pretty good. But let's try one that might not work out so well. I know one of the original ideas I had for a dropshipping store was to do Mustang parts. If you guys haven't seen the other videos on my channel, I do, uh, you know, I'm kind of a Mustang person. I build and sell them. And as you can tell, just Mustang exhaust, a pretty generic one. Well, there's only about 1,600 searches per month. And this company right here, American Muscle, uh, they kind of own the market. So it would take a lot of effort to really, you know, siphon off anything really worthwhile. So I hope this makes sense. I definitely recommend just either if you're searching um, just search terms or especially if you're researching products um, for your low ticket or high ticket dropshipping store, go ahead, get this nice little Google Chrome extension and start finding your good products. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, go ahead and give me a subscribe. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos like this, uh, more in the Shopify dropshipping area. So if you have any other videos you would like me to actually tackle, go leave a comment down below. Also, while you're there, I do have a couple of links to my uh, Facebook group. In that group, I'm going to be talking about Zapier, Infusionsoft, pretty much a bunch of automations things. Because uh, for some reason, I'm actually the best known for that even though I do Facebook ads and Shopify and so that I'm, I'm actually pretty good at integrations as well. So feel free to join up. Um, just give me a free group where I'm going to explain how to do all these cool little back-end integrations because, man, no one ever talks about them. But I will see you guys next time.